hi everyone this is patty from the boater map and we are here at tarpon lodge today so rob thank you for coming out with us today and explaining a little bit about what we do here at tarpon or what you do here at tarpon lodge yeah thanks for coming out to see us uh, excited to be able to show off the property especially after doing a little bit of work on it after uh yeah. some some people have heard of a storm we had uh some back people. in late september uh called hurricane ian and uh, so we've worked on the grounds and really excited to be open and welcoming boaters uh, back to the area. Yeah. So did you have any trouble? That, that's the, the main thing that we want to focus on here at the Boater Map is letting boaters know, um, you know, where to ride and what's safe to ride. And I know Tarpon Lodge, uh, you guys opened up very quickly after the storm. So I was really excited to hear. I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, some of that was just luck in relation to where the storm hit and where we were. Mm -hmm. um, we had some flooding here. Our sister property out at Cabbage Key had virtually no flooding. Okay. And uh, yet you had 15 feet of flooding down south of us. So mm -hmm. um, a lot of luck involved in that, I think. Um, but for us, the big thing was just getting all the docks repaired. Right. Um, we had significant dock damage at both Cabbage Key and Tarpon Lodge. And so um, I drove around and begged every dock builder that I knew to uh, make space for us, and we we got a couple of them in there that really uh, one on each property that really uh, took off. And, Williamson. Uh, uh, no, in this in this case we had um, um, Hotch Docks. Okay. Out at Cabbage Key, and we had Stimic here in uh, at Tarpon Lodge. And uh, I mean, when I saw the Stimic barge coming down the channel, the Pineland Channel, I I, I think I was doing backflips out in the yard because I because for us that's like our parking lot. Right. So in order to get the customers back in and everything, that was uh, that was a key first step. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we were fortunate in that we got those docks built back relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really helped out so that we were ready to welcome customers for this past season. Oh, very good. So th that <laughs> is your your main thing is is the docks. Are, are there a certain amount of docks that you hold or? Sure. Is I it mean, busy on the weekends. So uh, during season, we get all. It's obviously traffic flow. When I say season, peak season for us is between uh, mid-February through Easter. Okay. And then the weekdays after that will be a little uh, lighter traffic on the docks. And then the weekends, call it sort of summer sporting season, the weekends pick up and you have all the people that are working during the week and then they're getting boating on the weekends. Okay. Um, so that can pick up. I always recommend uh, for Tarpon Lodge that people call just to make sure we don't have some odd boat club or something like that. In. Oh, okay. And they can just call us on the landline and say, hey, do you guys have anything going on today? I'm thinking about coming in for lunch. Right. And we give good guidance based on that. Oh, very good. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, when we discussed it, you had said that a lot of the locals come here, uh, which is so nice. And I described how, you know, people that live on the river, you know, can come down and visit Tarpon Lodge and actually stay for the weekend. Yeah, I think that's the idea. And, you know, I live in Fort Myers on the river, too. And, and for so many of the boaters in southwest Florida, they really like to get up to this area. Yeah. Um, this sort of northwest corner of the county uh, just has such great boating. I mean, in the islands uh, are what I think is unique about the islands up here is they're all relatively close to one another. Mm -hmm. About six miles uh, in any one direction gets you to different islands. But all those islands really have their own character. Mm -hmm. And so from a boating perspective, you could be in one place, have a certain feel, and then go two miles and be in a, another island with a totally different feel. Um, so when you're out on the water hitting Boca Grande, Captiva, uh, Kay Acosta, what an awesome state park, Yusef Island, Cabbage Key, um, it's an easy loop to make. It doesn't take that long, and yet it's a whole world uh, away from the sort of Fort Myers Cape Coral area. Right. So you described, um, <laughs> of course, uh, Cabbage Key is a sister of Tarpon Lodge. Right, right. So we've been um, operating Cabbage Key since the late 1970s. Okay. And uh, we purchased the Tarpon Lodge in 1999. Um, wow. So the lodge, though, was built in uh, 1926. And uh, it was uh, built as a residence to an avid fishing couple. And so to pay tribute to them, um, we really went heavy on the fishing component. Uh, it's just a fishy area. It makes sense. And yeah. so Tarpon Lodge was a, a, a great name for it. And uh, we have 22 units here that we rent out, 20 rooms and uh, two cottages in four different buildings on the property here. Um, phenomenal sunsets. For those of you that haven't wow. seen one of these sunsets oh. out here, uh, it's definitely something uh, that you'd want to put on the list. Right, because you are facing west here and, and the docks are so beautiful. 
there's something romantic about you know Tarpon Lodge to me. Mm -hmm. The feeling that you come in when you see the the bar area and all the decoration that you have is just beautiful. Uh, the water views are amazing. Um, so what gives it that feel? I don't know. There's something just yeah. Like you said, maybe um, the, there's something about the bones of a place. I think that yeah. really helped do that. Um, and I think of uh, think of my family more as like stewards of these properties. So right. Um, our hope is that they're going to be here. Um, they've been here a long time before we got here, and mm -hmm. I hope they'll be here a long time after we're gone. Um, and then we're like in this spot in this passing time, mm -hmm. and uh, and you feel the weight of that responsibility to keep these old Florida gems going, and um, that's been something that we as a family uh, take real seriously. You're right. And um, it's also uh, brought us a lot of joy as well, just because we see that people really appreciate those efforts. Mm -hmm. And uh, for us, that's been uh, something that keeps us going on a daily basis. Absolutely. So family operated, that's wonderful, um, you know, and, and for such a long time and, and generations. So that's a wonderful feeling. Yeah, it's been a great tradition to keep alive, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, and so back to your original question on the, the, the places and the feel. Um, this one just had special feel, I think. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you can feel the people who built it in the late 20s. You can feel how they lived and how the island was for them. And mm -hmm. um, the whole idea that that was built, a lot of people don't realize this, that was built before the bridge came through Mount Lachey. Mm. So the, the main entrance right. to their house was by water. It's the only way to get here. Wow. And um, I often think back to like how much people really want to be in a certain place right. to have decided in the late 1920s that they were going to dredge a channel out and barge a bunch of supplies up here to build a house practically <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Right. Sure. And um, so I really look at it and go, wow, these people, this is an effort that they made. that's really impressive. Yeah, that's that's great. Now, do you have a, a specialty uh, dinner or something that you... Dinner specials, so yeah, some of the lunch specials that I think, uh, two different things, I guess, depending on the property. So if we're talking about Tarpon Lodge, um, for for us here at the Tarpon Lodge, our idea was just to take the normal coastal cuisine that you get by boat everywhere and elevate it a little bit, give it a little twist. Um, and I think that that's uh, been appealing to a lot of our customers over mm -hmm. the years. And um so we do a number of special menus uh, for all of the holidays and various events. And um, those have been, um, I think our customers have come to know and, and appreciate that. Oh, very good. Now, do you see <clears throat> typical like uh, groups of families come to Tarpon or is it more of like a romantic? <clears throat> a little bit of everything. It's funny how everything? one property can be different to different folks, right? Sure. Uh, so I would say we get a lot of people looking for a romantic getaway. I mean, mm -hmm. when you've got these amazing sunsets and these beautiful sure. afternoons out here, um, that's obviously a draw. Mm -hmm. And we're real busy. Valentine's Day is one of our busier days of the mm -hmm. year. Um, but I think families really appreciate it, too. And I think one of the things about family vacations to these destinations and the idea behind it is in today's world, there's so much technology. You know, mm -hmm. anybody that's got kids knows mine do it all the time, too. Um, that you've got all this this technology, and before you know it, all they're doing is looking down, and they're sure. just typing away, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so the idea out here is to bring families together and offer them some activities that are mm -hmm. really simpler type activities, but but they're great for family bonding. Right. And so you know, go out and try to go fishing, or mm -hmm. walk the beach and look for shells. Sure. Look for dolphin jumping in the wake behind the boat. Mm -hmm. Simple, natural kind of things that I think really uh, resonate with the kids and then they take that back and it's something different than the day-to-day -day thing where they're just looking at TikTok or whatever it is that they're looking oh, at online. absolutely yeah and you can come here by boat by car that's um, right you know we we actually drove here today and we weren't sure because i was on pine islands like after the storm but and then uh you know it, it just now though it seems like everything is back in order there's you know there's a few touchy spots that it looks like but it looks very clean and, and easy access to get here by car as well yeah. and by motorcycle. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we get a lot of bikers that like oh, this ride. Yes, yeah. And I think for them, it's just, you know, one of those open air locations uh, where you get to ride through with relatively no traffic lights out here on Pine yes. Island. So uh, 
a lot of bikers do like to come out um, mm -hmm. and bike riders. Um, right. because we've got this long bike path uh, on the island of, of Pine mm -hmm. Island, which is about 16 miles long. Mm -hmm. And so how, <laughs> how many times do you have live music? Is there a certain time frame that you Yeah, have? so we're doing live music. Um, we've been doing it uh, in season here from Wednesday through Sundays okay. at various times. And that schedule's right on the internet, or you can call the Tarpon Lodge. Um, as we get into the uh, off-season, I think, after July, when we get into August and September, We'll probably go down to doing it on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. And then I hope by October, uh, coming up in the fall, that we'll be back to Wednesday through Sunday, uh, weekly every week. Oh, very good. Well, we so appreciate um, you being in the voter map because you've actually been in the voter map since 2014. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Good deal. Yes. Uh, so always supporting, you know, the the local mm. businesses, and that's what the voter map is all about. Is supporting the local businesses and really getting the word out there of where to dine and you know people come to this area and they're not sure where to go and so we're here to promote and uh, let people know the best places to come in southwest florida and um so we definitely appreciate you for sure uh, i know that you want to show us the grounds too so i'm so yeah. excited because i love to actually sit out here in the pavilion sometimes i'll, I'll come up and i'll I'll uh, drop off some maps and go sit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know because it's such a take a, pretty a little break. View. Yeah, absolutely, it's such a pretty view. Yeah, that sounds great. Look forward to showing you the grounds. Okay, wonderful. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you. Thank you.